so I am out walking and the Holy Spirit has led me to this message to say life is hard um, and there's a lot of factors that go into life that makes it the way that it is whether it be where you are born your parents childhood circumstances childhood abuse adult abuse mental abuse um and just not really knowing our up from down we all have this void in us has been given to us since birth because we have been born into sin and born detached from god and it is our job to plug ourselves in be mindful of the things that you have been through and the trauma that it has caused on you because sometimes we have a tendency to bleed on others without even knowing rather it be our children our mates our co-workers mostly is on the people that we love and the people that love us because it's easier to bleed on them it's safer to bleed on them but it's not we have to be aware of our emotions and how they play a factor in our lives and the people who love us it's not fair and until we realize what our traumas are and how god can help us and heal us and walk us through it we will continue to bleed on others i've done it you've done it we're still doing it but it's time to take the mirror and look at ourselves and really really figure out where did we go wrong and we're gonna start with the blame game. We're gonna stop with blaming our parents, blaming our circumstances, blaming the government, blaming our neighborhood, blaming the schools we go to or went to or the schools we didn't get to go to. We're gonna stop blaming poverty. We're gonna stop blaming the color of our skin. And we're gonna start taking accountability. We don't get a certain age where we grown. That's a social thing. That's a societal thing. Oh, you 18. Oh, you had sex, so you grown. Oh, you had a baby, so you grown. Nothing matures us more than being connected with God. And if you're not connected with God or someone around you, if you see them not living up to the standards you feel like they should live up to, take a good look and ask yourself, are they connected to God? Because nothing will mature you enough or further than being connected to God. It is time for us to be connected. It is time for us to realize why we have the hole that we have in our hearts. And it's time for us to plug in. Um, my journey has been a long one and I'm still on it. And it is hard every day because not only am I on the journey, by me being connected, he has also put it on my heart for the Great Commission. And if you don't know what the Great Commission is, this is our assignment. This is our purpose of being here. And our purpose is to spread the good news and to spread that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. And the thing is, we're all searching. We're all searching to try to figure out why we're here. And that's the reason. But the hard thing is that we don't know how we're supposed to do that. And those are through our gifts. And the devil will take his time because all he has is time to make us not be able to see those things, those special things about each and every one of us that makes us so special that God brought us here, allowed us to be born so that we can fulfill his will. Take the time out to see what your gift is. God has been showing you since birth and all these circumstances and all these negative things that you feel like has been holding you back has been your testimony, has been your testimony for you to find those gifts. So no matter what you have been through, it is to make you stronger. It is to teach you endurance and patience. It is to teach you to understand that joy comes after heartbreak. It is to teach you that you can trust some people after you've been hurt. We wouldn't know good if we never had bad. 
We wouldn't know joy if we never had sadness or grief. So take the time to go through those traumas and those things that you feel has done you so wrong because God has used it for his glory. And it is a part of your gift. Figure out what it is. People have been telling you this your whole life. Wow, you're such a great speaker. Wow, you're such a great writer. Wow, you're such a great listener. Wow, you're funny. Whatever it may be, think about it. That is your gift. And that's not given to you to do wrong or to do any other thing but to, to do the will of God. That is how you do the Great Commission. I didn't want to make this video. I didn't want to make no videos that I made, honestly. Unless the devil was telling me to do it because, oh, you can get some views. Or, oh, you can get sponsorships. I went on YouTube just off the the random strength of, oh, I know I can do that. And I did it. I got damn near 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. I've had them for years. Why did they subscribe to me? I don't know. But I was in it for the wrong reason, so I stopped making videos. The only time I put a video up is when I feel the need that God is telling me to do so. And on my walk today, that's why I'm a little out of breath, while I'm listening to worship songs, it's called um, Miracle Worker by Tori Kelly and another person. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Look it up. It's a really nice song. And in the midst of me listening to that song, I saw myself in the Holy Spirit. Said, it's not just you. It's everybody. And spread this word. So this is for my family, my sisters, my nieces, my cousins, my nephews, my uncles. This is for you as well, my family in Christ. It is time to stop playing the blame game. We're done with that. We left that with the election. It is time for us to really see what it is we're supposed to be doing in this world. It is time for us to stop playing. It is time for us to stop playing, y'all, for real. It's time for us to really get serious because time is not promised. It's not, time is not promised. The only thing that's promised is death. And where you going is your choice because you have free will. God has told you what he wanted you to do. Jesus made it clear, abundantly clear, what he wants us to do at this point. And he has told us that we have been blessed beyond measure. He has told us that the helper, the Holy Spirit, the comforter is here for us. Have you been listening? Allow the Holy Spirit to come in your life. Ask God to give you the Holy Spirit. Why wouldn't he? He's such a great God. He's such a great God. Allow him to enter your heart. Ask for him to enter your heart. Give him authority over your life so that you can do what you've been blessed to do. It's up to you to accept the blessing. It's sitting right there. The gift is right there. Stop looking past it thinking you can get something better. Or you can find something better in this world. This world is dying. Just like each and every one of us. This world will die. And it will be a new one. Just like it's going to be a new us. And I pray every day. That I'm going to be. At judgment. And God is going to tell me. Great job my good and faithful servant. And nothing about this is easy. But we got to keep going. So I love you. Um, be kind to you. Be blessed. And be the best brand ambassador you can be for Jesus Christ. And I will talk to you soon.